Joining us now for more is Bloomberg's Lucas Shaw, who unfortunately for him had a busy weekend. I'm sure Lucas with a scoop. But Ari Emanuel of Endeavour saying they will create a global live sports and entertainment pure play built where the industry is headed. Where's it headed? Well, look, they have the biggest mixed martial arts league in the world in, in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And they now have WWE, which, while not technically a sport, you know, it's scripted entertainment, it performs much in the same way uh, from a media perspective, because people do show up to watch it live. And then the ways it makes money are very similar to UFC. You know, you think about it, and UFC makes money from media deals, it makes money from ticket sales, and it makes money from sponsorships. WWE is the exact same way, and I think they see an opportunity to sort of leverage that combined scale uh, in negotiations with sponsorships, certainly, uh, and then to find efficiencies in things like staging the events. I think when you think about the media landscape, Lucas, you know, many of the broadcast networks fight over being able to show WWE. Do we have any sense of how things now change, how they expand the offering, how they make it more digital? You know, it's it's too soon to, to know that, but if you look back in time, there was a, a point where the WWE created its own streaming service, uh, and then after a couple of years decided that that wasn't the best idea and it was better to just distribute it via the major players. So it has deals on linear TV with the USA Network uh, and Fox, and then it has a streaming deal with Peacock. The, the TV deals are coming up. Uh, the negotiations are, were actually supposed to start kind of this past weekend with WrestleMania, uh, I, I imagine that now the, the Endeavor folks will have a lot of thoughts on what that should do. But if you look in in kind of Ari Emanuel's track record and Mark Shapiro, who's the president of Endeavor, you know, one of the ways they built UFC into a huge business, because there were doubts, people thought that, that maybe they had overpaid for UFC, was they struck these huge deals with ESPN. Um, and I, I think they'll be able to do something similar with WWE, depending on who the partner is.